teacher and uh, classmates. This is my research proposal. My name is Alexander Torres. Well, um, the main objective of this proposal is how to build the comprehension written instructions in English for students of a grade at the Colegio Bilingüe Real Americano. Um, during our experience there at the school, we had found that uh, students have several uh, difficulties when they try to interpret and understand what is asked specifically in exams. Um, among this, we can find that some of the facts that affect this are motivation, the knowledge of the vocabulary, um, the fluency of their English, and of course, the strategies they are trying to use in order to express they are their ideas. But um, we are going to focus uh, specifically on how they develop and uh, the comprehension of the written instructions. Of course, we can find several differences between the poor readers and the frequently readers. Among them, we have we can find that misunderstanding instructions are part of that. Uh, on the other hand, develop uh, frequency readers have the chance to develop to decode their tests without uh, the use of any kind of uh, source of information like dictionaries or things like that, they are able to understand uh, their, um, the context of a test because of their previous knowledge. Um, poor readers, on the other hand, are trying to get bad grades and also to enjoy reading. Um, it would be a good strategy to establish what kind of test to present these kind of students to enjoy and solve activities. The main objective is to develop the comprehension of writing instructions of the students of eighth grade at the Colegio Bilingüe Real Americano. It is a f it is uh, basically the uh, a fact that we had found in some of them that they are not good readers and they misunderstand instructions. Um, when they have to solve any kind of test, um, they tend to solve that using the wrong instruction or they get confused because of the vocabulary and things like that. Um, among the specific objects, of course, we are going to try to analyze the complexity of the written vocabulary used. Uh, which is very important. It is part of the strategy to establish what kind of vocabulary to use in order to make the ideas or the questionnaires clear for the students. Uh, of course, to improve in the interpretative level of the students, which would be really a, a great goal to, to have. And um, it, another part which is very important is to to establish how the level of responsibility by the teachers of the school uh, we thinking as uh, adults forget sometimes that there are several differences about, uh, between the, the level of understanding of students and of course teachers. Um, in order to do this I'm going to work with uh, these sources of collecting data with our service. Um, these surveys, of course, will be using uh, open-ended and open-ended equations that, uh, in, which, in, in which the students can, or the, or the participants can uh, post their, um, their thinking or what they are expecting of the, of the study. Of the research, and of course interviews that um, in which we are able to to get a closer um, source of information from the participant of the survey. Um, it is helpful because using this kind of collecting data, we are going to establish exactly what they feel 
trying to get what they are looking for from the classes and uh, understanding their feelings in the class. The research method, of course, will be used in uh, action research. Um, action research uh, would be helpful for me because it um, established a clear methodology uh, step by step in which we emphasize on observation, uh, which is the first part we are doing. Um, and uh, of course, the action, what we are doing to improve the math of the, the comprehension level of the students, a kind of planning and uh, the reflection needed to <clears throat> establish the real strategies to improve this. Well, with this, I hope um, your questions will be solved. And uh, of course, thanks for attending me. Goodbye.